Hello my crafty friends to a new video with me. Today I have chosen an art journal with me including the tissue paper technique. Um, I will insert photos because I already started the process. Here you can see how I did it. It's actually very simple so you just take a design you like from the internet or wherever, you can also stamp on it. But I printed it out on my normal Canon printer and then I cut it out along the line and glued it down into my little Vinetu book. So this book I found in a bookstore for really only 10 Swiss francs it's a low price. It has the old scripture in there, the, the old German scripture that, I, um, that I'm able to read, but I took it to have a kind of a vintage art journal book to alter. That was um, the reason why I was searching for an old book. And I found it quite funny that it is an old Winnetou book from Karl May. So today was the first day of school after our spring vacations and the mothers of my viewers of you do know how relieving that is if um, you have the morning all to yourself again because all kids are gone for school and kindergarten in my case. And I already prepared this page to make on the weekend, but I was decluttering my art space on the weekend and reorganizing and I had the kit, so there wasn't spare time to craft. But today I felt I had to make something for me, because uh, even though it's a Monday morning, it was like the first time I just had a couple of quiet hours to myself and uh, it was not evening so I was still fresh <laughs> so I decided to go with a page and turn the camera on and invite you to this little crafting party. What was part of that little session with me was to use my fingers to work with. I found this uh, very therapeutic because it's something sensual, so to say. What you can see here is uh, I used body tattoos to use on paper. I discovered this uh, last year when I was experimenting. I haven't seen a tutorial or something like that. It was just an idea that came up to my mind. And I really, really like the look of it. It looks like, um, you know, if you would add gold, real gold, to old um, images or such. But you have already the design that you like, um, and I cannot draw myself, so I'm always glad. Uh, same with the mandala. I couldn't draw such a beautiful mandala on my own, so I took it from the internet and. Um, used the tissue technique so I can still add my own color to it because coloring is something I love a lot. But I wouldn't have the patience nor the ability <laughs> to draw it myself. So uh, about patience or about impatience that will be a subject later on in this video. It's less than an A5 size, this little book. And I had uh, wet mediums, as you can see now. When you don't know what to do, add a little glitter. You know this quote? <laughs> and then I had a problem that it was still wet and I had to somehow work around it because I didn't want to wait until the page was dry for the next step. Yeah. I only had about an hour left for me 
until it was uh, lunchtime again and I had to go to the kitchen cook. And I didn't have a really good idea or inspiration. I knew I wanted to somehow complete this mandala. I knew um, I didn't want to add rhinestones because um, I tried to keep this book quite flat because it's thick. Even though I teared pages off, um, it's still a lot left to do and I don't want this one to be too bulky. And I was always struggling with adding a word. I'm so used to add a word to my art journals. Because what this morning teached me was to just grab colors, things you are familiar with and find yourself a little spot and then have a little creative moment with yourself. Even if you didn't have a concrete plan, it really brings you peace to connect with yourself for a little precious moment. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got inspired. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment. And if you like to see more videos like this and others, please subscribe. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye.